Oh, morning, Jason. Quick question. How's our Microsoft 365 tenant looking? Honestly, rock solid. MFA, turned on. Legacy off, blocked. Conditional access, nailed it. The security on our Microsoft 365 tenant is ironclad. Ah, love it. Another quick question. Did you disable the stay signed in prompt? What? The little checkbox at login? Yeah. Did you leave that switched on? Well, yeah, of course I did. It's just a convenience thing, isn't it? Stop people having to enter the credentials all the time. Jason, convenient for users and anyone else who has access to the browser. Wait, wait, what? Jason, when someone selects yes, Microsoft puts a persistent cookie in the browser. And that cookie, it lasts for 90 days and it can survive browser restarts or even computer reboots. 90 days? What even if they're on the shared computer? Exactly. One innocent click and you've left a long-term door wide open. I let the finance team use my laptop yesterday. Okay, let's fix that before the finance team becomes a global admin. So here's what's going on when someone signs into Microsoft 365 and why the stay signed in button is a little bit risky. First of all, they get something called an access token. Now think of this access token a little bit like a visitor's badge. It lets them into Microsoft 365 for about one hour. Now, when that hour is up, the browser quietly uses something called a refresh token. Now this refresh token is a little bit like a master key and that refresh token gets a brand new visitor badge without the user having to do anything. Now that refresh token can last up to 90 days. Now, here's the kicker. If a user ticks the stay signed in button, Microsoft adds a persistent cookie into the browser and that cookie survives restarts and computer reboots. Now that cookie lets the refresh token keep working for the full 90 days without any password or MFA prompt. So even though the access token only lasts for an hour, it doesn't really matter. The refresh token is just gonna silently create a new one over and over again. Now, if this happens on a shared or unmanaged device, someone else could sit at that computer days or weeks later and still get into your Microsoft 365. No sign-in required. I mean, it's a disaster, isn't it? So I think what we should do is switch that setting off. Do you? Okay, let's do that now. Okay, so we've got the Microsoft 365 login page, which I'm sure you'll recognize. So if I put in my username, click on next, and then enter my password. Click on sign in, and you can see this is the prompt here. Stay signed in. Do this to reduce the number of times you are asked to sign in. You can, you can click on do not show this again. And most people will think, yeah, that's pretty convenient. I will click on yes. Okay. And this is the box that we're trying to get rid of. Okay. So I'm going to click on no, which will sign me in. Okay. Let's go to admin section because I'm logged into my test tenant as a global admin. Okay. Go to show all and identity and that's gonna launch the Microsoft Entra Admin Center. Okay, once we're in here, Entra ID and go to Users, and then go to User Settings. And it's just this little box here, look. Show Keep User Signed In, and by default, that is set to Yes. So I'll switch this to No, and I will click on Save, and that has updated. Now, let me sign out. Click on sign out. Okay, the all important test. Let's plug our email address into here. Click on next. Enter our password. Click on sign in. We shouldn't get that prompt anymore because we switched it off. And there you go. It is logged in without asking us if we want to stay signed in. So the prompt just completely disappears, which is what we want. Okay, disabling that checkbox is a great start. But as we all know, IT security is all about layers, a bit like an onion. And there's one more layer I'd like to add. That extra layer is to create a conditional access policy 
that sets the signing frequency. That way, even if a user does have a persistent session from a trusted device or app, they'll still be prompted to re-authenticate on a schedule that you control. Now let's take a look at how to create that conditional access policy right now. Okay, so we're in the Enter Admin Center. I'm gonna to go to Enter ID and I'm gonna go down to Conditional Access. Look at my policies here. You can see that all these policies are in my tenancy. This is just a test tenancy. But I'm gonna create a new policy and I'm gonna give it a name. Call this sign-in frequency. What we can do is we can target all users. You can select certain users and groups. You can exclude certain users and groups, okay? Target resources. Well, we're gonna target all resources here. You might decide to target maybe sensitive ones like Exchange Online or SharePoint, okay? But I'm, for, this, for the purpose of this demo, I'm gonna use all resources. And then I'm gonna stroll down to here, session. And we've got a sign-in frequency, okay? So I can set that. What I can do is select my units. So you can do hours or days. So maybe we can set this as every eight hours, okay? Or maybe every four hours. It's up to you. Click on select. I would switch this on. I'm gonna leave it in report only. And I will click on create. And that creates my conditional access policy. So there you go, a quick recap. Make sure you disable the stay signed in button to stop persistent sessions. And then use conditional access to enforce signing frequency. I hope you've enjoyed today's video. Look forward to seeing you again soon.